The Opsport Tiny 2 Lite is a cost-effective version of the popular Tiny 2 streaming webcam that features 4K 30p video recording, has a 79.4 degrees field of view and is equipped with a half-inch CMOS sensor. The Tiny 2 Lite is aimed at gamers and beginners but can also be used for stationary vlogging due to its two-axis gimbal head. An essential part of the company's PTZ streaming cameras and webcams is the dedicated software that allows full manual control of pretty much all settings but also features fully automated adjustments such as tracking, up to 4x zoom and gesture control 2.0. This means it's possible to signal to the webcam what it should do without needing to manually change any settings in the software. The body is small with dimensions of 48 x 46 x 64 mm and a weight of only 91 grams. The unit features a flip-out plate at the bottom that allows it to be placed on top of a computer screen or a laptop. Something I certainly appreciate is the additional quarter-inch screw hole which makes it possible to mount the webcam almost anywhere with a tripod or a magic arm. The unit needs to be physically wired to a device via USB-C 2.0 to get power supply and to be able to use the desktop software called Opspot Center. The application has different tabs for a variety of settings and functions. Modes like AI human tracking can be adjusted in the console menu. Depending on what's being streamed and how much the person in front of the webcam is moving or even walking around, the dedicated option can simply be selected. The two-axis gimbal hat, which can pan and tilt, can also be manually operated in the software but does a solid job at following subjects automatically without any abrupt motion. My favorite tab is probably the image menu since it's possible to quickly toggle on and off manual and auto settings like white balance, picture profile and exposure. The ISO ranges from 100 to 6400. Image details are maintained even at higher ISO at 4K 30p, which is rarely the case with most webcams since heavy noise reduction and smoothening is often applied. High dynamic range can be used too, which I would mainly recommend for contrasty or backlit environments. In well-lit conditions, HDR isn't necessary since the dynamic range holds up well. The continuous autofocus is snappy and rarely struggles to keep a face or subject in focus. Minimum focus distance is roughly 8 cm, which is practical for static streaming setups on a desk, for example for unboxing videos or products, but also for gaming. Manual focus can be set as well, which can be useful for scenarios that don't involve motion or for wide locked off shots such as livestream from a far distance. The main difference between the Tiny 2 and the Lite version are that the bigger brother features USB 3.0, an 85.5 degrees field of view, a 1 over 1.5 inch CMOS sensor, dual native ISO and additional tracking modes. The Tiny 2 Lite is one of the most professional PTZ streaming webcams in this price range. Although it's very compact and lightweight, the hardware but especially the software make this a solid fit for all kinds of video live streams but also recordings. Just like with the higher end models from Opsport, this one's motion tracking, gesture control and image quality are the key reasons to consider using this webcam. <laughs>